Hi, Crafty Patty here. I've been busy making my own weaving tools. It's so rewarding and it's so inexpensive. And they turned out so well, I just had to share it with you so that you can make your own weaving tools as well. I've been making shift sticks and weaving shovels. They're made from bosswood and all you really need is a utility knife and you're ready to go. No saw. Don't have to be a carpenter. You can do this. And soon, you will be wrapping your own wool around your very own weaving shuttle that you've made yourself. So rewarding. So keep watching and I'll show you how to do it. I went to my local art store and I picked up a piece of basswood, 1 8 inch by 3 inches by 24 inches. Basswood is heavier than balsa wood. Balsa wood is quite flimsy. I'll take this piece of basswood and I'm going to be cutting it down the middle. I'm just going to mark my one and a half inch mark here on the one end and on the other end. I'll take a metal ruler and line up my two lines I've made. And using a utility knife, I'll score down. Now you can just take it and break it. And you've got your two pieces nicely cut. On my previous video, I made the frame loom. And now my shed stick is going to be able to sit in here. So I'm going to cut off about an inch off my shed stick off the end here. So it sits right inside here. When we made our first cut, we were cutting with the grain of wood and that's why it splits so nicely. This one is going cross grain, so I'm gonna make a few more cuts. That should be just about right, enough to get it to break. There we go. Now I'd like to make a little bit of a rounded point on the top of my shed stick. So I'm going to just measure down one inch on both sides. And I'm going to come in and measure the middle of my stick. So we've got one and a half inches here, which will mean I need to count in one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's my middle of my stick. Now I can take my metal ruler and match up my two marks. And again, with your utility knife, draw through a couple times. And that just pops right off. And the same for the other side. I'm just going to turn this so it's easier to angle in the camera and again line up your marks and again your scores and that should just pop right off and then you just pick up your one of your little sanding blocks and just smooth off your edges and I've now got my shed stick that will support on my edge of my frame I've got a nice little point on it so I can weave in between my warp threads. So this piece of basswood was about four or five dollars. I've got two shed sticks for less than five dollars. And there's my two shed sticks. This one I've made with a little bit more of a sharper point and this one I made just slightly more rounded just so I can have two different versions. Now for my weaving shuttles, again I'm going to be using the basswood. And this time I'm cutting 
a 1 8 by 4 inches by 24 inches. And I'm going to cut this in half. Okay, we'll mark off our 2 inch mark because this is a 4 inch wide piece of basswood. Mark on both ends. And lining up your lines with your metal ruler. And again, coming in with your utility knife. And score down. Again, please be careful with your fingers. If you've got a nice sharp blade, a utility knife, that makes it safer. If you get a nice good score on that with the grain of the wood, you should be able to just spring that and crack it open. And then come back the other way just to finish off the break. And you can come in with your sandpaper if you've got a few strands and just clean it up. And being that this piece of basswood is 24 inches long, that means I can get three shuttles at eight inches long each. So I'll make a mark at eight inches and a mark at 16. And that will give me three shuttles on this piece. And on this one, let's make two longer shuttles. So this time I will make two at 12 inches. And again, line up your lines. And again, we're going cross grain this time. So we want to make several lines with the utility knife. And that works just fine. And we can sand those off for any little bits. So now we've got two at 12 inches and we've got three to eight inches. So now we just have to make a V this way so we can wrap our wool around the shuttle. So my ruler, my metal ruler is just a little bit over an inch. It's good enough for a guide. It doesn't have to be exact of how far we go down with our little V. But I'll use that to put a dot right at the end. And now I'll be cutting from this corner to the dot and this corner to the dot. And do the same on the other side. You've drawn your dot on this side. Turn it over and mark your dot on the other side as well because we're going to want to score on both sides this time. So this time when we make our cuts, I'm going to come on to the other side of my dots. So we get a little tiny bit of a, a roundness at the bottom. Come around to the other side, or however it's easy for you to I'm trying to keep in camera for you here. A little bit of a line that we're going to come and cut around that dot area. So now that I've made my cuts, I'm just going to come in without the ruler again so I can see what I'm doing. We've got a good connection on that corner. Let's turn that over. And again, score on this side. Let's 
Let's see if we can get a nice clean break on that. If it doesn't look like it's moving, let's come back and we'll score that a few more times. And we'll score on the other side one more time. Pop that out, moving back and forth. You've now got your nice V in there. And again, we'll come in with the sandpaper. Single piece of sandpaper and fold it in half. I'm just going to round off and smooth off my corners a bit. And just sand them off till they're nice and smooth. And voila! Quarter inch and a quarter inch on this side. I'm just going to carry that line across because my lines weren't exactly perfect. And pop straight out beautifully. Look at that. Beauty. And do the same to the other side. I'm so pleased the way this basswood worked out for these homemade weaving tools. I've now got two sheds with the pointed ends on them. I was able to make two longer weaving shuttles and I've made three of the smaller ones. And now I just have to get my yarn and wind them up and I'll be all ready to make a gorgeous weaving. And that will be another video to come. So keep watching, because you never know what Crafty Patty is up to next.